Hi Ventura, this is City Council Member Christy Weir and I'm here to share a few city updates with you. In July, the City Council voted to extend a permit that allows local businesses throughout the city to expand their operations outdoors. Now, through September 14th, any Ventura business interested in expanding outdoors is encouraged to review the city's requirements and apply for a temporary expansion permit. For more information, please call the City's Economic Development Division at 805-677-3958. Many businesses have already taken advantage of this exciting opportunity to expand their service area onto the sidewalks and into the street. A great example of an outdoor expansion area can be seen in downtown Ventura, where our local business community has transformed the area into Main Street moves. If you haven't seen it yet, please come check it out. As you know, the safety of our community is really important, so please wear your face covering and practice safe social distancing when you're out in public. Your actions can help us slow the spread of COVID-19. Did you know that summertime is a busy season for our public works department? Dry weather conditions are ideal for construction because it ensures quality repairs that will last for years to come. In the last three months, Public Works repaired or maintained over 2,000 locations. City staff filled over 900 potholes, repaired more than 100 sidewalks, cleaned over 500 storm drains, replaced and repaired over 200 street signs, and completed pavement repairs to parking lots like the one near Community Memorial Hospital. This project provided landscaping improvements, asphalt enhancement, and added six more parking spaces to the area. As you can see from these photos, this project added a lot of value and beautification to the area. In the coming weeks and months, you are going to see a lot of capital improvement projects happening throughout Ventura. Street resurfacing efforts also started this month on Victoria and Ralston. This project will be extended in the coming months to include Telephone Road and Johnson Drive. While doing sidewalk repairs on Ralston Street, six trees will be removed from the area that have damaged the pathway and caused a safety concern for pedestrians. During the tree removal process, the sidewalk, the lane of traffic, and the bike path will be closed temporarily. While it is hard to see these beautiful trees removed, landscaping will be added to the area by the city's Parks and Recreation Department. The city will also be doing sidewalk repairs for nearly 500 locations, spanning from our west side to east side neighborhoods. These repairs are intended to enhance pedestrian safety and improve accessibility and access for all residents. Many of these projects are brought to you in part by SB1 and Measure O. We are grateful to have the ability to deliver quality service repairs to our residents more quickly thanks to these voter approved funding sources. For more information on upcoming CIP projects, visit the city's website. Even though COVID-19 has challenged how we engage directly with the community, the city is still working to provide services and educational resources about many of the topics you care about. This includes our environmental initiatives. Our city staff has resumed hosting monthly household hazardous waste events. Every third Saturday of the month from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., city residents can drop off hazardous materials like paint and automotive liquids, which should never go inside your bins at home. Appointments are required, so make sure to register online at cityofventura.ca.gov HHW. Ventura Water and Environmental Sustainability have also moved the Educational Gardening Series online. You can stay informed on sustainable water-wise gardening practices by joining in on a virtual event like the Zero Waste Home to Garden event happening on Saturday, August 1st. Follow Ventura Water and the Environmental Sustainability Division on Facebook and Instagram accounts for more information. This past school year, the city's Green Schools program reached over 5,000 students through our K-5 through presentations, which educates students on how to take care of our environment. While most elementary schools were able to take advantage of in-class presentations, the Green Schools program also transitioned to offer distance learning lessons to support environmental literacy and waste reduction at home. The City of Ventura Green Business Program is also still supporting local businesses in their efforts to be environmental leaders in our community. Businesses that adopt best practices to be efficient with their energy, water, waste, purchasing, and transportation can become certified green businesses 
and are identified by the Green Business logo on their front window or website. Currently, the city has 80 certified green businesses participating in Ventura. They go above and beyond to support our environment and the sustainability of our community. Visit greenbusinessca.org slash city of Ventura or download the Shop Green app to find local green businesses near you. Our top priority is the health and safety of our residents. If you have any questions or suggestions, please visit the city's website and you'll find links to email us. We welcome your communications. Stay healthy and safe, Ventura.